Everybody watch that for a sec. Little Max Viking MTG. Wait for a few people to get online here. We're going to crack some Masterpiece product. A good little variety of product to uh, open today. Hoping we get some uh, Masterpieces. Product comes the way of uh, amazing discoveries, and uh, let's thank them for the product. So uh, let's see what we get. Just wait until we get somebody on. This is for another video. Return to return to return to return to return to return to Ravnica. Another return to upcoming. What's up, Raven Corsair? How you doing, man? Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, this has got two people on. I'll go ahead and start. I don't have all night here. So, uh, let's open some Kaladesh packs and some Aether Revolt packs. See if we get there. Then I'm going to do a bundle of almond kit. Oh, we got a foil in our first pack. We have a harness lightning, consulate surveillance, a speedway fanatic, and a concealed courtyard. Nice. And we have a foil built to last. I'll always take the fast lands. I'm speculating pretty uh, hard on the fast lands. I think these are going to, uh, after a few months, maybe even a year, I see these jumping to. It's probably the same price shock lands are at right now, ten, fifteen dollars a piece. We'll see what they do. So we have an Emberl Bruiser, Unlicensed Disintegration, Fairgrounds Trumpeter, and an Over Apostery. Yeah, even unfortunately not the uh, shiny I was looking for, but hey, not done yet. We have a Skywhaler Shot, Bowman Bazaar Barge, an Aether Hub. Sad, this is about to become completely worthless. And a Territorial Gorger. I mean, Aether Hub, I don't really see any use for it. Unless it's played in some abstract modern deck. I just don't see energy being a thing anywhere outside of standard. There's not enough sets that use energy. What, two sets? You actually use energy. Decoction module. Aerial responder. Creeping mold. And a boomat courier. Planes and a thopter token. Yes, we can only hope. The blossoming defense. Glimmer of genius. Council shield guard and an ether storm rock. Alright, so on to Aether Revolt. See if Aether Revolt can get us there. Uh, I see Walking Ballista staying. Uh, I see Walking Ballista being a $15 card for a long time. Uh, I don't see it dropping in price at all. It's used in every. It's used in tons of modern decks and just about every commander deck. We have an Invigorated Rampage, Salvage Scuttler. Illusion Stratagem and a Spire of Industry. 
another card on speculating on uh, going well up in value. That and foil is seventeen dollars. I hope they were. I don't know. Let's see if they were print blossoming defense or not. If anything, they'll probably print something comparable to it. Whether they'll reprint the actual card, uh, I doubt it. Not the same one. We have a Death Dismissal, Reverse Engineer, Scurvo Schematic, and a Herald of Anguish. So there's a Mythic. Um, I don't see... And I could be wrong. I suppose they could reprint it. But I suppose the only way it would get reprinted would be in a core set. So it'll be another year. I don't see it getting reprinted in guilds or anything like that. Striking out on the foils. We have an Aeronaut Admiral, Sly Requisitioner, a Ridge Scale Tusker, and an Oath of a Johnny. Mountain and Nimble. Two packs to go. We have a gifted Aetherborn, Malthus Revolutionary, actually that's still worth a buck fifty. Malthus Revolutionary, Prima Aether Seer, and then a Johnny. Not bad, I'll always take Planeswalker. Gaunti's Machinations, Life Captor's Gift. A Rage Giant and a Peace Walker Colossus. So we have two Mythics out of ten packs. Not terrible, um, but we didn't, they didn't get there what we were looking for. But we're not done yet. We're far from done. These away and go to the next one. Alright, let's crack this uh, bundle. See what we get. this one you get the token pack which has got all the tokens in it all the applicable tokens and then you get the land pack that's why these you'll never find these on the shelves at a retail store anymore and never find them in an LGS unless they're a big shop uh, the and this is why all regular art and then, pow, full art lands. You get a whole pile of full arts. So, it's a, it's a cheap way to get full art lands. And you get other good stuff. So, let's see what we get. Try and be careful about showing the... Uh, Showing the goods early. We have a protection of the Hecma. Open into wonder. Lay claim. And a Gideon's intervention. Gideon a big drinker or something. Alright. Swamp and a drunk token. I hate to say this, but I see guilds being a flop. Um, they put a lot of umph into Dominaria, and it brought it brought some people back into the game, and 
I noticed it, it did put a little surge, drop some cards there. It did put a little surge into things, just a little bit, a little bit of a surge, but it didn't, uh, wasn't enough. And M19 came out, it was hot for a couple weeks, and now the LGSs are empty for standard showdowns for every event. It's been empty. It, it really depresses me. Uh, and I don't see guilds or Ravnica being the umph to bring it back. We have a Faith of the Devoted. Blood Rage Brawler. Honored Crop Captain. And an As for Toll. Cha-ching. It's a great hit. It's played in Modern. Hey, J. Shane. What's up, man? And we have a Foil Greater Sandworm. As for Told is a great hit. That's not going anywhere on value. It's played in multiple ma modern decks. I see it sticking around. Thanks, Jay Shane. Appreciate it. We already opened some uh, Kaladesh Nathar Volt packs and didn't get there, but that's okay. We got more to go. Doing a bundle of uh, Amiket. See if we can get there. We have a Flame Blade Adept. Spring to Mind. Trial of Solidarity, and a Fetid Pools. What do you guys think of the new videos I've made? I've been trying to uh, be experimenting with some new stuff, um, trying different formats, different ways of you know, kind of spicing up pack openings. Do you guys like it? And I did that product review. Yeah, so far, man. Nice hit so far, that's for sure. We have a Kefnet Monument, Manglehorn, Vizier of Tumbling Sands, and a Dusk to Dawn. So, all playable cards so far. Every one of these cards has been played in standard. Oh, your volume's off, Jay Shing. Always coming on my channel, not wanting to listen to me. I see how it is. All right, we have a ruthless sniper, onward to victory, edifice of authority, and a throne of the god pharaoh. Forest and a junk token. So I finally got through to that company on the Fairfield company that I that had those open packs in their product. Well, one open pack and. Uh, they're sending me free replacement product. Apologized about it, and they're sending me a free replacement product. It only took them a month and a half to respond. I had to go on Google and their website and put negative co um, comments, and then bam, they responded. Funny how that works. We have a sensor on crop champion, cast out, and hazards favor. Terrible card. There's a lot better ways to give your guy plus two, plus zero, where you don't have to sacrifice him at the end of turn. Alright, we have a Watchful Naga. Lay Bear of the Heart. Chef at Monitor, and a Plague Belcher. Warrior and a Mountain. Alright, three to go here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Avon. People are playing it now. Well, I think you'll still see a lot of it through, uh, through the next month. With that with that deck being such a pain. It has made all my FNMs 
so much longer than they need to be, that Nexus of Fate. Uh, it's every FNM right now is the full 60 minutes per match. I swear it. We have a Warfire Javelinier, Time to Reflect, Oaktra's Monument, and a Drakehaven. And we have a foil, foil pull from tomorrow, so foil rare. Cool card, beautiful card. Even Wing Guide and a Swamp. Yeah, it is, Jay Shang. Nice foil. Real nice. We have an Enigma Drake, True High Dru Duelist, an Angler Drake, and a Glyph Keeper. Island and Junk Token. And last pack, last chance for uh, Masterpiece Magic. At least for right now. Oh, we do have a foil here. We have a foil in the last pack. An Enigma Drake, Destined to Lead, Gravedigger, a rare is a Curator of Mysteries. We're getting Sphinxy here. And our foil is a Foil Anointer Priest. Wow. That would have been really good a little while ago. A uh, Foil Anointer Priest, not bad. So we had a third foil. It was it was good. We didn't hit a masterpiece, but it's definitely good. It's worth the worth the time. It was a lot of fun to open. So stay tuned. I will be posting uh, another video tonight on my Ravnica block week. And um, was mixing this in just a little extra fun. Some of my sponsored content. So uh, it's good times. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed this. Thanks for showing up, Jing and Avon and Creepy Watcher, whoever you are. I think you're Mr. Hashtag Dude. I'm pretty sure you're Mr. Hash hashtag Dude, but it could be Rudy, too. You never know. But these are the tokens you get. They give you all these double-sided tokens. Wing Guide and Hippo, Orchard's Attendant and Beast, True Heart Duelist and Zombie. It's the only way to get these double-sided tokens is to buy a bundle of Amon Kit, and uh, you get the double-sided tokens in it. So... Uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's the only way to get them. So, I just thought maybe you guys wouldn't know that. But, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, call it quits here for now. And uh, I'll post a video tonight. I uh, hope everybody has a great night. Uh, have a great rest of your week. And enjoy your Labor Day. Oh, Tara. Whoever Tara M is. I have a female watching my channel. There you go. Even if uh, even if it's somebody on their wife's account, I don't care. I got a female watching my channel. I'll have to let Rudy know that that I had a female on my channel. That's a one point one 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 percent of females on my channel. So, all right, everybody have a great night. I'm gonna go cook some dinner here, and we'll talk to you later. Peace. Also, keep an eye out a movie called The Bellman. I'm filming, I'm recording a voice role in a movie called The Bellman. It's out in 2019, and uh, I've got the role of Ed. It's a voice role, but still, it's good. It's a credited role in a movie, so get my voice acting career back up, uh, back on the map, so. Everybody talk to you later.